Why hello everybody and welcome back to another reaction video and today 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 is a little bit special a little bit special for you guys because because usually how it works with NF and how it works with us going down the NF rabbit hole and on the NF journey is uh, we check out an NF video on this on this rabbit hole every other day but I checked out this one Obviously, I don't mean I listened to it I haven't listened to it yet but I mean I checked it out and I saw that this isn't a song by NF. It's not a song by Nate himself, it's a song by Marthy and it's got loads of featured artists on it. Loads of artists I haven't heard, so I was like, okay, this is a bit different. Some people don't include this song on the journey, and some people do. So I was like, right, as this one is a bit controversial, I'm gonna do one video yesterday, one video today, and one video tomorrow, and then we'll go back to the every other day. Plus, we got the, the big scary one coming up, and you guys know which song I'm talking about. You guys know which song I'm talking about, so we need some crazy bumping NF in our lives, and also I'm really excited to check out intro tomorrow because that's the next one on this list. We get to check out intro two. <sighs> Woo. And you guys have said intro three is the best one, although I have heard as well, and Nate says intro three is the best one as well, so I'm really looking forward to getting to that one as well. Man, there's so many songs on this journey I can't wait to check out. If those of you who don't know, those of you who are new to this channel, every single reaction, every single video is 100% real, 100% genuine. My first time hearing that song ever. I'm not one of these fake reaction channels where you just go, damn, 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 for like eight minutes and you don't actually show any kind of emotion and you're pretty much a robot. I'm not one of these reaction channels where this, the video is going to be three hours long and nothing's going to be said and it's just going to be someone waffling and, and just basically breaking down, talking about the lyrics, which you can already see on the screen. I'm not one of those. First time hearing these songs, if you want real, you found, you found your home. If you want a real first time reaction from some guy who has no idea who Nate is or some guy who's going down the rabbit hole, the journey for the first time, Welcome to the channel, you found your home. Hit that subscribe button. Join the family, join me on this journey. Join this crazy British guy on this journey. Hope you enjoyed this long intro. I'm sorry I love to talk, hence the Waffle Gang. Anyway, enough more waffling bollocks. Let's press play and jump into Marty, the one with friends. Yeah. I think I'm the worst rapper on this entire song. <laughs> you know what it is. Or if you don't, you're about, you're about to know. I don't need a stylist, hey. I'm only wearing black Ooh. And my homies are wildin', hey. we all love Taylor Swift Ooh. Yeah, I'm eating with pilots, hey. they calling me the chef Yeah, I'm saucing it up, no directions, we made it from scratch Ooh. Yeah I feel like I haven't said this, I should have said this before I jumped into this I haven't heard any of these artists, I haven't heard of any of these guys other than Nate I haven't heard of a single one of them, I don't know who Marty is, I don't know who John uh, Gives is I don't know who Words Played is, I'm reading them on the screen, Fern or Kaleeb. I don't know who any of them are. None of them. I don't know any of them. And I apologize if I pronounced their names wrong. But yeah, I've never heard any of their stuff. Don't know who any of them are. Going to this completely blind, completely ignorant. This British guy, no idea who they are. Sorry about that. That's what we made up from scratch. Yeah. Fear got T on. Shout out to Jerry Lorenzo. I'm loving the beat. They calling me ugly. I'ma still marry a Tando. And I'm killing the friend zone. I'm a kneel in the end zone. And my ex had nothing inside, so you know that I hopped out that window. Hey. Yeah, anti political. Ooh. Only making songs that I like. Hey. This is anti radio. No placements won't make it to top five. Hey. Anti-political, the same as Nate. Nate even says in the search he's not going to rap about anything political. That's not what he says. He says it in the intro as well. Um, I've never heard this guy, but I really like his style. It's completely different. Completely different to the stuff we've been checking out recently. It's slow. It's got that modern beat, but it's it's sitting nicely. It sits nicely. I like his voice. I like his voice. He reminds me a lot of uh, the rappers from the No Pixel server. Um, I have n if a bunch of you are not going to know any what I mean by that. But there's a couple of rappers on No Pixel Server, and he reminds me a lot of them. Lot of them. Like Same sort of voice. This is anti radio. No placements won't make it to top five. Hey. And high five to my team. We don't respond to anybody on the sidelines. And I should have died. Like, I don't know, bro. Feels like I got nine lines. I came in this with like both friends. Two socks and Chuck Taylor's on. I stayed in this and gave no cares. No up. Now I'm moonwalking on a song. Area. The change up in the beat there was so good. It sounded like we just jumped into another song. Is, I reckon this is going to be five minutes of, of that, right? It's going to be change up and it's going to sound like we're constantly switching tracks. Um, and like Marty said, he thinks he's the worst rapper on this track. Um, I, one of you, one of you, uh, in the down below, because like I said, I don't know who any of these people are, so I don't know who I'm hearing right now. Can you let me know who comes in first? Obviously, Marty comes in first, and then second and third and stuff, and let me know who I'm listening to. Just so if I want to check them out after this, I can. 
in this song. I stayed in this and gave no kids. Pretty please. Now I'm moonwalking on every song. Area code is 860 Think I'm great. Think y'all late. That's okay. Marty, let me come up in this party like I'm Scott Face. Then point the finger at the bad guy. At four years old, I've been a rap guy. Let me show you how to do this. I, do I just need a pistol in the pad guy. Follow me now. Couple wrecking, couple knees. Trying to call up me now. Tell them all to hit their knees in the gallons to stay. I like came from God. Man, I got my game from God. Ain't a dollar that can move me from the rain of God. I'm in this Billy Hollywood. Damn, damn. All right, all right, all right. Um, I don't know who I'm supposed to be. So who is this? Is it in order? No, of course it. Nate's first. Who is this guy? Ah, oh, man, it's so annoying. Um, I'm loving the old school sound from this guy. The beat, like I love the change up on the beat. I'm loving the deepness of it. I'm loving the. I'm loving the bass. Um, but the guy is giving me like LA Confidential vibes. That's what I'm getting from him. Hold on, let me go and take a rest. I ain't yelling at y'all. I'm just trying to hit you with some evidence, y'all. Evidently, heaven sent me excellence, y'all. I just want to be a legend. I just want to speak to the people. I just want to play my sounds, make my rounds. Love God, live life, do it all legal. It's easy. Don't ask me a question. If you don't want to. I think I recognize that voice. I think I recognize that voice. I think I recognize that voice. I think I know who that is. I live life, do it all legal. It's easy. Don't ask me a question. If you don't want to hear what my answer is, I'm going to answer it. I got no time for the drama. I got no time for the politics. I do not care about names. They don't mean nothing to me. I didn't get in the game to make friends and kiss up the people that don't even like me. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know what? You know what? This this track is a perfect example of uh, of the skill level. It is a perfect example. No hate to any of the other rappers. No hate to any of the other rappers. Because um, rap rap is one of these things that's like has so many different styles. Every rapper has their own flow, own style, own sound. Every single rapper, you know that, that's why we love them. We you know we wouldn't want to listen to the same guy who sounded like someone else. You know, so when you get these rappers, they wear the different styles. But you can also say that a lot of them have different skill levels based on the style. So, you know, like mumble rap. In my my personal opinion, mumble rap is a much lower skill level of rap, right? So when you get fast, clear rapping like Eminem, like Tech, and like NF, I think that, that I think that's a way higher on the skill level. In my opinion. make friends and kiss up the people that don't even like me. You know what I mean? I, I don't expect everybody to like what I'm doing out here. But I am the one that's gonna look in the mirror at the end of the day. You don't know my career. I got some people that write me like I wish you died like your mama did. These are the comments that I Jesus, man, that took a turn. That took a turn. Jesus. That's the thing. That's the thing as well. These artists, these amazing people are just doing something they got passion for. Um, you just to get a target on your back just because you become successful. It's heartbreaking, it's heartbreaking. I got some people that write me like I wish you died like your mama did. These are the comments that I got a problem with. You should be quiet and watch what you hollering. That's you guys! The fans will eat you alive! <laughs> 100%, 100%. But at the same time, most welcoming community in the world. Most welcoming community in the world. Uh, the amount of love and respect you guys show is unbelievable. It's unbelievable, man. I literally feel like a fan of family in you guys. It's awesome. Yeah. My fans will eat you alive. Trolls get up on my page. My bars fly over their heads. I wrote that line on the plane. I wrote that line on the plane. You won't see me in the chain. I basically wear the same shirt every day. Get a hole in the go to the store and I buy it again. You already know who it is for real. That's really true. I've never seen him in a chain. He wears the same shirt every day. And even in like his first few songs, all I have and uh, the first intro, he literally talks about if he ever made money from this, he'd just give it back to his fans or his family. Um... Most humble, most respectful guy in the game, 100%, 100%, most humble, most respectful guy, a role model, 100%, 100%, he's a role model for up and coming rappers, 100%. Still on the coast where they throw the set, pilots still bounce like hammer check, poppy gon' get them like danger feel, hold on lay, you don't get no respect, labels done hit for them all up. Marty and Fern never call him back. You trying to be funny was all they asked. Look at the charts, who laughing last? Now I'm signing e contracts. My God is major, my league minor. Throwing numbers up in me contact. These beasts remind me of Scott Steiner. Andy killed it on Sway Show, so why? Again with the old school sound. Again with the old school sound. Definitely getting that old school sound from this artist as well. 100%. De like, 
old school rap sound. Big time, big time. I don't, I don't know how long this dude's been in the game, but he strikes me as someone who's been in the game for a while. I can, I'm definitely picking that up from his voice, the style and everything. The only thing is, he's got some sort of like reverb or, or auto-tune on his voice as well. And he had it at the beginning. It seems to be like tapering off at the moment. But I wasn't liking that. I wasn't liking that. That's why I made that face. I wasn't too sure about that. But now it seems to be gone. He sounds a lot better. He sounds a lot better. And he killed it on Sway Show, so I best to work on my one liners. Still pray for that skyline. Boys, lick the shots at those one time. Is that I just want to see hands in the air, my lord. my lord. Never thought rapping would keep us employed. Feeling like Becky, I'm fighting with Floyd. The family watching. Watch I like that box. I like that boxing. Feel like Packy, I'm fighting with Floyd. The Packy hour, Floyd Mayweather fight. I like that. I like that reference. Keep us employed. Feeling like Becky, I'm fighting with Floyd. The family watching. Watch oh. I better go hard in the pain that 96 robbed me. Shouts out to Eric, I got him. Dog day. The, the only thing I'm not liking about this artist is that reverb. That reverb. I, I, if I'm upsetting you, any of you right now, who are like, one, I'm pausing it a lot. I haven't heard these artists before, so it's a bit of an odd track for me to react to. Um, because there's so many different people I'm checking out. But yeah, I don't like that reverb. That reverb is really putting me off. Because the guy sounds really old school. He sounds like someone who should be part of G Unit. He's got that sort of voice and that sort of style. But that reverb, it, which is like what modern rappers use a lot these days, you know, they use that like auto tune, they use that reverb, they use that ha, ha, who, ha, like in the background behind where they're rapping. I don't really like that. That's not really for me. And, and I feel like if this guy didn't have that over his voice, he'd actually sound way better, way better. But that's my opinion. That's my opinion. Um, you know, you guys don't have to agree with it. That, that's just my opinion on it. Hard in the pain that 96 robbed me. Shouts out to Eric, I got him. Dark days in the Cali summer. Life's hard, this beats harder. Rest in peace out to Harold Hunter. All praise to the Holy Father. All the smoke was second hand. Evil way will never land. Say a prayer if I come around. Bloody cheers, please wipe me down. Uh, here we go, here we go. Moving on to the next one. Moving on to the next one. Again, I need a, I need a list down below. I need a list down below so I know who I'm checking out. No, I'm checking out. Here we go. Round. Here we go, here we go, moving on past the baton. I wake up from my bed, look over, kiss my little girl in the head. Cause every day is Father's Day, just like every day is a birthday, you dig? Yeah, third of the three little pigs, the wisest when I build my house up with bricks. So when a storm came, we just came together in the Lord's name, bruh. Sold drugs, bruh, been grimy. Lord's that kid, you can ask about me. Had the OGs, they respected me. The younger boys now remember me. I was in them streets in the background. Was your gangsters, gangsters, ask the game for free. Nowadays, when I recollect it and I put it down, Got to pay me when you okay, so this guy's been in the game for a while. This guy's been in the game for a while. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. The OGs, re you know, the OGs gave him the respect. The new game, the new rappers, they they know who he is. They know his name. I don't know who his name is, but I'm not a rapper, so it's fine. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys here. I'm gonna be honest. Like I said, this channel, one thing you will always get from me. One thing, if you're watching this right now, you're 14 minutes into this video. One thing you will always get from this guy, 100%. Every single time is my honesty. My honesty. I'm never gonna lie. I'm never gonna act like I don't like a song. I'm never going to act like I like a song if I don't like a song, or act like I don't like a song when I do like a song. I'm not fake. I'm not some fake-ass reaction channel. Again, I apologize for swearing. We're trying to keep it respectful for Nate. But I'm not some fake reactions. I'm not going to give you some fake reaction. I'm not going to give you... I'm not going to... I'm not I'm not, the, I'm not. like the mainstream, guys. I'm not here. We're tiny little fish of a channel, and you're going to get my honest opinions. And I'm going to say, this song ain't for me. And in my eyes, NF stood out 100% above everyone I've heard. Every other rapper, his verse... It should have just continued. It should have just continued. I don't know who these guys are, but um, they're not they're not clicking with me. They're, they're not my sound. They're very modern, very modern sound in rap, in my opinion. Um, they've got that sort of, like, the difference, the difference, the rawness of Nate on this track when he literally just came into it. No reverb, no water tune, nothing on his voice, just the mic in his hands and, the, and, the, and his notepad in his hand. Like, that was literally it. Notepad, mic, here we go. I'm spitting a verse. I'm done. Put the mic down. I'm out of here. See you guys later. That was literally it. The other guys have put so much effort into changing their voice, changing their st style, their sound, their flow, everything. And I must admit, it's just, it's not for me. It's not for me. That's why I think I love Nate so much. That's why I think NF has just literally just stuck with me. When I heard him, I'm like, man, I'm going down this journey and I'm invested. And it's when I hear these modern rappers, I realize just why my reaction was the way it was when I heard Nate. It's because modern music, you don't get that anymore. You don't get that. And it, 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 I, don't, I don't think the modern rap is for me, man. So if, if you guys right now, if I've upset any of you, do you think, right, well, I'm unsubscribing, you know, fair enough, you do you. I completely understand. I completely understand. You know, I, I, you have my 100% respect. Um, <clears throat> I just wanted to give you guys my honest opinion. I'm not feeling this. I'm not feeling the other rappers. However, I, I did love Nate's verse 100%. And I would happily listen to his verse on a five-minute repeat 
I think it was amazing. But maybe this last guy can change my mind. Maybe this last guy can change my mind. So here we go. Ben Grammy, Lord Zaki, you can ask about me. Had the OGs, they respected me. The younger boys now remember me. I was in them streets in the background. Was your gangsters, gangsters, I game for free. Nowadays, when I recollect it and I put it down, gotta pay me. When you say Hollywood, gotta say me. When it comes to these raps and these APs, Cadillac's always been the MO. Even when the old school broke down, I'll patch him up, hit the script with him. I'm not liking the flexing either. I'm not liking the flexing. All these guys flexing. This guy flexing. This guy Cadillacs. When you say Hollywood, you got saying me. Cadillacs are the normal. Every day is my woman's birthday. If you get what I'm saying, it's like I'm not really. I'm not feeling it, man. I'm not feeling it. Like again, that's why I love Nate. Nate, and it's why it's why I love the people we check out on this channel. They don't flex. They don't flex. They they they're just there because they love the music. Like 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 the the difference. The difference in verses, right? This sums it up. This sums up. The guy we're listening to right now, like I said, I don't know who I'm listening to, but the guy we're listening to right now is talking about Cadillacs, giving his uh, lady every day is a birthday, Hollywood is in his name, all this sort of stuff, right? That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. And in Nate's verse, Nate literally talks about no chain on my neck. I ain't here to flex. I will buy, wear the same shirt every day and then go buy it again from the same store. The difference. The difference in those two guys. That's why this guy has my undying love and respect until... I, until I'm dead, until I'm dead, 100%. And the other guys, probably not gonna get a second listen. Again, my opinion, sorry if I've upset any of you. It's no surprise a brother on now when the streets get a chance to speak up. And one the brother that's gonna eat with him. Speak up about the same issues and run it straight, ain't gonna play with him. My content's done, changed up, so the 12 year olds need a young shepherd. Looked at Santino right in his eyes. He broke down laughing, he's so reckless. He know I got now, it is no pressure. But when it's his turn, let the grits burn. And Lawrence Fish burn, but it's on record. How his old boy spit it like an old veteran. Fernie. Uh-huh, how was old boy spit yeah. like an old fashion? <laughs> yeah, I'm not feeling this one guys. I'm not feeling this one at all. Why is this on the journey? Why is I'm glad I am glad I didn't I'm glad I didn't save this one till yesterday. I am glad I'm I'm doing the triple tonight. That's right. It's a triple tonight because uh, yeah, this this isn't gonna give you guys my crazy reaction just because this is not my type of music. This is not my type of music. It's not my type of rap. Auto tune, not for me. I like the nighttime wave. So the thing you get with beats like this, the thing you get with beats like this when you've got artists like this and you want all these different artists on a track together, the thing you get, which you notice a lot, is they sort of go for like a standard beat. They go for like this standard beat. And the reason they do that is because it's so diverse. When you get so many rappers on one track together, they don't have to worry about learning some sort of new beat or some sort of new style, some sort of change up. And the problem with that is you end up, say you've got five rappers on a track together, you end up having five rappers sounding the same because you've got the same beat and they're sort of doing the same style because it's the same tempo, it's the same reverb, it's the same everything. So essentially, you're giving everybody the same tools to build a house, the house is gonna look the same. So that's why a lot of these verses, none of them really stood out other than Nate, who it literally sounded like he went in and did his own thing like he always does. Whereas in the other guys, I don't know, I don't know. I, don't get me wrong, I reckon I would actually like a lot of these other guys if I heard them on something else, but on this beat, on this sound, not for me, not for me. I, I like. If, the, if you introduced me to all these people, I wouldn't be asking you to like, oh, yo, can I check out that guy? He was great. Like, it, it didn't really sit with me. It's very modern, very modern sounding. The ending was very modern. I can appreciate um, the construction of the song. I can appreciate it very much. I can appreciate the changeovers. Um, I can appreciate the length of the verses because obviously it was very, it was, you know, they, they're not, give, you know, they're not giving a whole song. So I can appreciate that as well. Um... I, and the way that they sort of like all bring their own sound to this track as well, I can appreciate because again, like I said, you're given the same tools, but you somehow have got to make it your own. So you've got to make your verse your own. So you're bringing a sort of different sound, different change up of your voice, trying to mix it up a little bit so you stand out from the other rappers. And the only person who standing out was Nate. The only person who standing out was Nate. Not another verse that I listened to where I was like, hmm. Like two of them. Two of them had like nice old school sounding vibes, but they, they screwed it up. They screwed it up. They added like, they added auto tune on their voices. They didn't need it. They did not need it. Now don't get me wrong, I've got nothing against autotune rappers. Nothing against autotune rappers. Fred Durst from Limp Bizkit did a song demonstrating the uses of autotune. Tom McDonald did a song, uh, uh, Bad News, demonstrating the uses of autotune. You can get artists who do it where they're like, right, this is how you do an autotune song. 
And if uh, the Fred Dis Limp Biscuit song they uh, Fred Durst Limp Biscuit song they did where they did Auto Tune, um, I can't actually remember the name of it. Um, but it was actually really fun. It was really fun. It was done really well, and it was like a sort of Mickey Take song of the Auto Tune stuff. And like I'm saying, I can appreciate it when it's done well because there are a lot of nice sort of nighttime songs that put you in that chilled vibe, and they're all Auto Tune based. And I can appreciate it. I can appreciate it. But I don't like the modern rap where it's like all auto-tune, all fake, no talent, everything's done on a computer. It's not the guy with the mic who's got the talent, it's the guy in the booth who's got the talent. And I find it hard to detach myself from that. Which is why it's so impressive when you get artists like Crypt. Yes, I know who Crypt is. When you get artists like Crypt, who, uh, Crypt does all the stuff. Crypt does all of the computer work and all the rapping. That guy is, is absolutely a genius when it comes to technically constructing a song. So I have a lot of respect for an artist like that who can do that. And I've also got a lot of respect for artists like, for example, Nate, who had they have this close team They're like you know Tom McDonald Rupture they got these they're independent they got these close teams so they sort of know each other and they can create music that just feels like them it's more personal but I feel like a lot of artists it doesn't feel personal you know little little Dirk little all the little guys <laughs> sorry so many of you are probably hating me right now thinking I'm talking out my ass I don't have an extensive rap background I don't know that if you guys if I reacted to a heavy metal song I, I'd have a lot more to say that's where my music background comes from. Which is why it's so interesting when these rappers just catch my heart and I'm just sucked into them. It's why, like, like Tech Nine literally came out of nowhere and just grabbed me. He was running past and I was like, Who, who's that guy? And he went like, ah! and off I was, running down the Tech Nine highway. And it's been the same with everybody. It's been the same with everybody we've checked out on this channel. There's so many of them that are just so insanely talented. Run past, grab me, and off we go. And, uh, and yet, the only person on this track, in my opinion, was Nate. He's the only one I saw, the only one I've got eyes for. Love that guy. Anyway, anyway. What did you guys think? Are you guys right now watching this going, I hate this guy. This guy doesn't know what he's talking about. If you are, again, everything I say is my own opinion. And I love hearing your opinions. I'm never going to, I'm never, ever, ever going to delete a comment, have an argument with you guys or anything. Leave what you want down below. Whatever you want, okay? It's your opinion. I leave my opinion. And I'm happy to listen to whatever you guys have to say. If you guys want to convince me otherwise, show me a song by these artists. If you're a big fan of one of them and you're not happy with how I reacted, let me know. Because this is, I only heard like a minute long, like 30 seconds to a minute of them. So... You know, I don't have much judgment to go on. I'm just basing my judgment on this alone. So I'm sure that a lot of them are insanely intended to have songs that I would love. So let me know. Let me know. Um, I'm, I'm more than open to learn, and I'm always happy to change my opinion because a first opinion in my in a first opinion in my eyes is nothing. Is nothing. First opinions should never be judged. They're absolutely irrelevant. Anyway, I can't wait to check out intro two, which is coming tomorrow. I'm pretty sure that's the next one on the journey. If it isn't, I've done. I've got the list. I will double check, but I'm pretty sure it's that one. Intro 2. You guys ready for the big one tomorrow? Are you guys ready for the big one tomorrow? If you're still watching this video and you haven't subscribed, why? You've made it to the end of the video. You might as well subscribe. I've kept your attention this, this long. Hit subscribe. Join the family. Help this little fish of channel grow. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I love each and every one of you. Stay safe, stay humble, and as always, I will see you amazing people. Yes, you are amazing. Don't ever let anyone tell you otherwise in the next video.